the game in overtime and sent the Ottawa Senators to the Stanley Cup Final for the first time in franchise history. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon and I'm your host. Before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at SenseTalk underscore for live tweet updates of the games and, of course, breaking news. Now, let's get to, to, to today's game. It was against the New York Rangers Fan Appreciation Night, the last game in Ottawa before the playoffs, which, thanks to my dad, I'll be going to a game. I'll be there for game one, so I can't wait. That should be Wednesday, I believe. The schedule hasn't been out, but it's um, speculated that the game will be Wednesday. So I can't wait for game one, my first ever playoff game I'll be going to. Uh, it's going to be probably a crazy crowd, sold out crowd obviously. Uh, hopefully Sanders could get that win first game. But speaking of that, game one would have to be, if it would have to be in Ottawa, the Sanders would have to win today to clinch home ice advantage for the first time to 2007. Here we go against the New York Rangers. Going into the first period, nothing. It looked like they were asleep. The shots were 4-4 after the first period. Hoffman did get a post and a couple of chances for the Sanders, but really nothing brewing in the first period. Going to the second period, the Sanders come out rocking and 3-0-4 in. Hoffman, after a couple of big saves by Henrik Lundqvist, puts it in past the sprawling Lundqvist, and Ottawa takes the lead. It's 1-0 Ottawa. This one from Mark Stone, passing it from behind the net, and Jean-Gabriel Pajot. That line was hot. Guy Boucher postgame said that that line may stay for the playoffs. 1-0 Ottawa. Six minutes later, Derek Broussard scores against his former team on a nice pass from Victor Stahlberg. Ottawa takes a 2-0 lead, beating Hendrik Lundqvist. No chance for him. 2-0. Burroughs draws the other assist, and Ottawa takes a 2-0 lead. This was Mika Zibanejad's return to Ottawa. He did get an ovation, as there was a little tribute to him during the scoreboard during a TV timeout. Let's get to the third period. Six minutes in, Jean-Gabriel Pajot tips a shot from Mark Borietsky after a nice pass from Mark Stone. Finds Borietsky all open. He fires it. Pajot tips it. Ottawa takes a stranglehold in the game. It's 3 nothing. With 44 seconds to go on Paul Romanoff, jinxing Craig Anderson. Mika Zibanejad scores in his return to Ottawa. Makes a 3-1 game. That's it. As the Sanders clinch home ice advantage, clinch second place in the division, and clinch home ice advantage for the first time since 2007, the year we went to the Stanley Cup Finals. Now, this is a banjo goal from Chris Kreider. Uh, speaking of Chris Kreider, Beck, I believe, crashed into Craig Anderson a few minutes before the game ended. He did get up uh, after a big chorus of Andy Chance and he would stay in the game, and he should be fine. Now, the Sanders did clinch home ice advantage, so the next game tomorrow, back-to-back -back against the New York Islanders, will have some plenty of rested players. Mike Hoffman won't be playing, Kyle Turris won't be playing, Victor Stahlberg won't be playing, Dion Phaneuf won't be playing, Eric Carlson won't be playing, Craig Anderson won't be playing, I'm sure that list will continue. So expect people like Chris D. Domenico, Chris Neal, Yurioki Paka, Colin White, Mike Kahn, and these players uh, start tomorrow. And if the Leafs lose tonight, that Islanders game against practically the Binghamton Sanders and a few NHL players could probably put the fate in the Leafs' chances. So are the Sanders going to try to score on themselves to screw the Leafs out of a playoff spot? Um, they have a game tonight against Pittsburgh. Sidney Crosby's playing, and our Mark andre Fleury's playing. They need two points. Boston lost today to Washington. They could get three to four points. They would play Ottawa in the first round. Very unlikely that'll happen. Um, but if they don't win today, looking like another epic collapse by the Toronto Maple Leafs. But we'll see what happens. The shots and goal 4-4 after the first period. 16-5 after the second period. Ottawa really controlled that. 13-10 third for a final tally of 33-19 in favor of your Senators. And a great showcasing without Eric Carlson, who should be back for the playoffs. Face-offs were 40 wins for the Sanders, 22 for the Rangers, 64.5 to 35.5. Power plays, 0 for 3 for the Sanders. They really need to get consistent on that if they want to go deep in the playoffs. Special teams is very important. Power play goals, you need to take advantage of your opportunities. Uh, hopefully they could spark something in over in the playoffs. Maybe put a Pajot, Hoffman, and Stone in the power play. Maybe something could happen. Hits for 23-14 Rangers. Shots, 33-19. Ottawa, third start of the game, Mike Hoffman with a goal, a plus two rating, 18-27 on the ice. Second start of the game, Jean-Gabriel Pajot, one goal, one assist, two penalty minutes, a plus two rating. And he's the sense off YouTube star of the night, played a very good game. In the first start of the game, Derek Broussard, another strong showcasing, game-winning goal, one goal, plus one rating, 14-28 on the ice against his former team, and his first goal against the former team, the New York Rangers. 
The attendance was a sellout with 18,979. I expect not, nonetheless for the playoffs that game should be over 20,000 in my opinion. The playoffs always should be sold out. We're not the Florida Panthers. Um, now let's talk about the last 10. The Senators are 5-3-2. and two. They're currently riding a three-game winning streak without Eric Carlson in two out of three. So it's pretty imp impressive and uh, as usual, um, adversity by the Sanders, they just pushed through it. Uh, their record's 44, 27, and 10 now. They beat the Islanders tomorrow. They get to 100 points on the season. They're currently at 98. Tomorrow's game is 5 o'clock against the Islanders in New York. Let's get to the standings as follows. First place in division, Montreal, 101 points. Ottawa with the win clinches second place with 98 points. Boston lost today to Washington. 95 points for them. Now, if Toronto beats... The Pittsburgh Penguins today, but loses in regulation tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow against the Columbus Blue Jackets. We will play the Bruins out of tiebreak. But if they get three out of four points, we'll play the Leafs. Most likely, we're going to play the Bruins, but the Bruins really screw themselves out of maybe possibly playing for the Washington Capitals. Because there's always that chance that may happen. But right now, the Leafs are just trying to, they're trying to get that win to get them in the playoffs because they're collapsing right now. So it's very interesting to see. Tory Krug and a couple other defensemen for the Boston Bruins are injured. It's not looking good for the Bruins to go anywhere past the first round, let alone win more than two games. So we'll see. They're in third spot with 95. We're three points clear as we clinched, obviously. Islanders have 90 points. Tampa Bay, 92 points. And Toronto, 93 points. Getting down to the wire. I can't wait to see what happens there. Um, the Senators clinched. Probably we just need to find out who we're playing, but... We're clinched. We don't have to worry about anything. For the first time in a while, on Sunday, if we lose 10 nothing, I won't care, honestly. Um, maybe for the goal differential stat, everyone's going to be, oh, yeah, well, the Sanders had a, a, a negative goal differential on their playoff team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really, i rather just enjoy the game instead of being worried about standings and points and injuries and this and this. Really, tomorrow it's going to be half of Binghamton players. Shouldn't be. You should, this is gonna be a game to watch, and if we win, yay! But if we lose, the Leafs are screwed. The Leafs are praying that we beat them if they lose tonight. So we'll see what happens. But thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your support. So please follow us on Twitter at Tentuck underscore for live tweet updates of the games and of course breaking news. Please add us to your circles on Google Blast to Tentuck. Please like us on Facebook at Tentuck. Please to click the big red button down there and subscribe to us. Like this video. Share this video where every share cool stuff. Please check out our website, sensetalkcentral.com. We update it every single day and we really appreciate it. Please, please, please check out our Instagram sponsor, sends.central. I would really appreciate that. Of course, I'm excited for the playoffs. We're going to obviously be doing uh, videos for the playoffs. In fact, if you don't remember, Jordano Ladisa, who does our highlight videos and intros, etc., we'll have a new pump up for the playoffs up. Very soon, so that, expect that in the upcoming one or two days. Deadline probably Monday we'll have a video up. Um, let's get you pumped up for the playoffs for the Sanders uh, Cup drive. Hopefully we can go deep this year, maybe even win the Cup. We'll see what happens. Take one game at a time, one series at a time. See, let's chalk the world. So thank you all for watching. Please click right here uh, for the latest on QT video and right here to subscribe. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for Game 82 of the season, and I'll see you after that for the playoffs. I'll see you next video. Go, Sins, go.